Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the targeted individual program, targeted individual experience. So I was supposed to receive a package today, all right? And um, it was supposed to be delivered actually uh, earlier, all right? Just went to check again. Now it's saying that it's gonna be delivered by nine. Every time I went to check on the status of the package again because they're surveilling my phone they will use their their sirens okay the new york predator department again retaliation because you, this is what they do this is what you know psychopaths and sociopaths do right they believe because they're in position of power that they can do whatever they want and because again i'm going to expose everything that they do and every time, like I said, every time I go to check the um, package, and the reason why they wanted me to, because uh, I was said I was leaving at nine, right? Because uh, Pam was going out, uh, and so I said, you know, like I, I told her, you know, she goes, I'm leaving at nine o'clock, right? <laughs> so they put the delivery for nine o'clock now, okay? <laughs> and again, using her to uh, target me, you know. Um, but now they're, now they're using the sirens now, the um, fire trucks. They send the fire truck out using the siren. See, this is what they do, right? Um, and because I'm doing the video, now they're, now they're using the, the fire truck because I'm exposing them. So they'll use the, the, the noise campaigns, uh, the sirens from the fire truck, okay? Uh, so I want to show you guys what it says, right? It says, um, moving through network. I mean, what, what do you mean moving through network, right? On the 8th at 10.35 a.m., arrive at regional facility in Brooklyn, Brooklyn Distribution Center. So I should have had my package earlier. But what they're doing, they're trying to hold my package hostage to get me to stay the night because Pam is going out and I'm leaving at nine right so they want me to stay okay again this is the way how they try to you know we talk about coercive threats when I you know in the, in the coercive persuasion program with these coercive threats this is what they do and this is how they engage in those those threats right you know threatening not to deliver my package or even steal my package okay they're not saying it is what they do right is what they do so is it doesn't say offer delivery but yet it's supposed to it says uh expected delivery on saturday which is today march 9th by 9 p.m you'll see there's no more updates except for moving through network right now as i was i was uh talking to another TI and I said, you know, I'm waiting for my son to come back and then um then, you know, when nine o'clock comes, I leave. They started using the the New York Predator Department started using their their vehicle sirens. Okay. So again, criminal this is a criminal network who've infiltrated the post office or delivery service, businesses building management to building superintendents this is how they will have copies of your key so they can come into your home i remember there was a woman uh on television you hear, you hear the sirens whoop that's the near predator department uh she was on the news and she was showing how they broke into our home now they had they had her keys because there was no signs of breaking there was no of a forceful entry i should say there was no signs of a forceful entry so how are they coming into your house coming into your apartment if you're a ti right because they have people around you that you that you trust it could be family members it could be a babysitter it could be your children right who may leave their keys somewhere or somebody comes and you know take an imprint of their keys and make a, a copy of it. 
these people have been engaging in these criminal activities for decades, decades. And it's about time that they become exposed so that we can fight back and we can say, no, you are not going to do this anymore. You're not going to do this to anybody else. These, this is a criminal network. Okay. And people don't like to think these things happen. Right. On H on, um, on Netflix, there's a series called the program. Go, you guys, if you have Netflix, go look at it. Called the program. And you had these young people who were telling this story about what happened to them. And many people did not believe them. They did not believe them until one of them decided that she's going to go back to that facility that she, they were at. And well, let me give you a backstory. So their parents will send them to these behavior modification centers. And they were being abused in every single way. Physically, mentally, sexually, they were all being abused. Right? And no one would believe their story. Well, one of them said, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to prove what I say what was done to us was actually done to us. And now there's a series on Netflix and it's called The Program. Go look at it. So don't let anybody try to convince you or tell you that these things don't happen. That people don't engage in this sort of behavior. Particularly those who are in positions of power and those within the religious uh, community. Right, because the thing is, the the name of the, the the documentary is called the program, cults. Um, the word cult is in is in the title. I forgot the other the other names. That's <laughs> in the title, right? But yes, this happens across all America, all across America, and a lot of parts of the world. Okay. So again, I just wanted to show you guys how they engage in these sort of cursive threats, whereas that they, they, whereas they're not updating my uh, the information about my package that's supposed to be delivered today. Okay. So again, just just want you guys to see what's really going on. Okay. These are this is a criminal network. And this is the type of thing that they, these coercive threats, because again, the coercive persuasion program is to try to control you, to label you, from come, and, and to keep you from coming forward to expose what it is that they're doing. And that's just one aspect of the program. This is, this is the psychological ground work in what they do in getting civilians, getting those uh, in the authoritative position, to try and discredit you and to silence you. And so that when you talk about being followed, being stalked, you're automatically labeled. All right? When you start talking about being experimented on with directed energy weapons or being microchipped illegally, all right, what they're doing is getting civilians to say, yeah, we see him walking around with his phone and cursing at people, yelling at people, I don't curse at people, yelling at people until, unless they're, they're doing things to me that, you know, that I that uh, you know these kind of coercive threats are they engaging in psychological violence against me, and I don't and I don't curse them, curse them out like you know, I might say fuck you as they walk by me, if they're doing something, doing these hand signals. So that's about it. But they want to try to prevent you from from being believable. Okay, that's why it's important that you study this program, you study what's being done to you, you study the technology. Okay, share the video with. Dr. Robert Duncan and Lynn Burr, Lynn Burr, Lynn Burr, I think it was, um, that I had did a, a short video on. Okay. They will, they will no longer be able to deny what they've been doing. Okay. Because more and more people are going to begin to begin to truly understand what's going on because this, this is deep. All right. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.